Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be speaking about some great news about Jasmine Quay. So the camera will be there and I will be trying to look at the screen. To begin with, it's an amazing coin and a promising one and its future is extremely bright. I can tell you that without no doubt. So what is it? I think I will be speaking about three things majorly. Uh, virtual reality, Sony and Jasmine coin. Don't forget these three major components which are also correlated with each other. So, to begin, with, let's ju just start by looking at this chart, you know, uh, as all YouTubers do. So, this doesn't intrigue my interest, to be honest, because what I see is, okay, that, that there is a chart, okay, it's, it has increased, uh, spiked up, every, like sharply, okay, I understand that. Uh, we missed the opportunity to, you know, gaining some money. I don't care about that. What excites me, what is exhilarating is the idea of it that it represents. It's going to change the world, I think. And there are other concepts that I would like to also include into my video. So Web 1.0, Web 1.0, Web 2.0. And now it's going to happen, I think, Web 3.0. What is it? Like, what are the differences between them? Also, I'm going to... I don't want to make the video too long, so I will keep it as brief as possible. So let's start with introducing the coin. So, like, what is Jasmine coin? Jasmine is an organization, okay? So it helps to secure your data, basically. Right now, maybe you are not aware of it, or you are. We are surfing through the internet, right? And we are using some apps, Instagram, Facebook, and other types of social media platforms, right? They are using our information. They are utilizing from our time. We are not paying anything to use those services, to use those platforms, such as Facebook and Instagram. But what we are doing is we are providing a really important information which are vital for their businesses. When we are clicking some buttons, when we are spending some time looking through those images and videos, we are actually putting out our character, who we are. My name is Tarek. What Tarek likes? And what, what does he watch? What products does he like? What does he click? All of these information are gathered uh, from us to the companies, by the companies, and they I think they sell this information. Like this is my humble opinion, and uh, these information are really, really uh, unique and cannot be found in anywhere else. So, Jasmine helps to secure those information by restoring it to the provider itself. So, what do I mean by that? Let me just basically explain what is Jasmine Queen. It is an organization known to build the Internet of Things, it's called, also called IoT, okay? Founded by Kunitake Ando, our lovely guy, Japanese guy. Instead of using centralized servers to coordinate networks of data and devices, Jasmine is a platform that focuses wholly on decentralizing the process by storing and processing data on a decentralized storage network called IPFS. This part is really important. What is IPFS? So, you know, normally, like a decade ago, people were storing their information on devices, like uh, hard drives and uh, storage, right? But currently, the internet is uh, like outweighing the other part and is doing it by itself, okay? so. I would like to explain what is IPFS. IPFS is a peer-to-peer, -peer, like from a person to another person. An information is being shared. Decentralized network that lets users back up their files and websites by hosting them across numerous nodes. So uh, what we are doing is we are hosting numerous nodes, the information that we, are, we were supposed to store. So by hosting those nodes, if there is numerous nodes, then the, the information will be more secure. 
So when a website goes down, often it's due to the failure of a centralized source, such as a hosting server or a domain name, okay? And sometimes it's a matter of internet censorship, just like in Turkey, you know, in Turkey, uh, Wikipedia was censored for a particular of time, period of time, and uh, we didn't do anything. With IPFS, we were able to reach Wikipedia with, with a different version, thanks to the IPFS. So, uh, what can you do with IPFS? That's a problem, actually, uh, there is a problem that we face, as I told you, about reaching to some censored websites, and that problem is a concern that IPFS has, and it solves by itself. So it's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer, peer file sharing network. It's also a way to back up digital files, such as NFTs. So for example, you bought an NFT, and suddenly it disappeared. So it's on the internet, and we don't have any proof that we have it or not, right? We can claim. In that case, IPFS comes in hand and helps its users to protect and back back up their files and now let's get into some of the twitters that I really liked I haven't look at it so <laughs> what's in here the funniest one is coming actually Jasmine Queen yeah it's going to skyrocket it says and each second is coming ah this one was my favorite so all the BNB, SHIB, SHIBA coin, CAKE, Uniswap, Jasmine coin is going to, you know, skyrocket. And I find it like interesting, by the way. So there is this um, O, triangle and rectangle shape. It reminds me of, it makes me reckon about Sony, I think. Yeah? So let's have a look at this one. Sony, I'm, I'm trying to create a relationship between these three things, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So there is Sony, there is this triangle, rectangle, uh, square and sphere shape, okay? And who is the founder of Jasmine Coin? So Sony is a Japanese company. Founder of Jasmine Coin is our guy, Kunitake Ando. He's a Japanese person and he's a former manager and CEO of Sony. So let's have a look at Kunitake Ando. And he, he, like he is the father of the Sony, we can say, right? So it is also expected to about Jasmine Coin, there is uh, ad, another news, uh, also Binance shared this. There is also great news about PS5 collaborating with Jasmine Coin. Think of a virtual world where you can buy assets, but they are going to be virtual, of course. It can be a boot, it can be a, let's say, a Gucci bag, and it's going to be an asset. And I think there will be law about this in the virtual world. For example, uh, there will be some rules that you must obey and follow. Virtual glasses will get into our lives. And there will be coins that we will be using in this virtual world. And we cannot ignore the fact that internet is going to change. The world is going to change. So I would highly unadvise you to fall behind these news. So that's why, keep an eye of these news about Jasmine Coin, about virtual reality, uh, about the fact that the world is changing, right? We have the pandemic right now. What are we being taught? Of course, there is this um, health crisis and uh, bad news about this virus. I'm not talking about that. I'm speaking about from a different perspective. We are being taught to stay at our homes and... Uh, conform to new reality that we have right now and after that right now we are used to being immobile so that's why in the new future 
like in near future actually. The virtual reality is going to get into our houses. We are going to use them. It will be a, a part of our lives. So speaking of all the IPFS and also edge computing technologies and approaches, Jasmine coin is a promising coin. And let's continue speaking about Jasmine coin. And let me just speak about what its principles are. So this platform adheres to the principle of data democracy, which is the ideology of Web 3.0. So what is the difference between Web 1.0, uh, 2.0 and 3.0? I'm going to make a difference, like separate video about that topic because it's a long story and a really amusing one. So basically, we have two computers. I'm speaking about Web 1.0. We have two computers. Web, web 1.0 connects those two computers and becomes a chain. They are uh, having a relation with each other and uh, transferring some data, right? And in Web 2.0, we have the producers, writers, content creators, and then we have the users. And again, it is just dis being distributed by one source with web uh, 2.0 and web 1.0. What makes web 3.0 different from others is, okay, now we have the source, right? And we have the ramifications. We have the branches between uh, the source and its users, right? And the uh, content creators. What's going to happen is now these branches are going to connect with each other. So there will be a private network that people are going to communicate. So basically, Jasmine platform, this platform adheres to the principle of data democracy, which is the ideology of Web 3.0, as I told you. Its goal is to restore all personal data files to the persons to whom they belong. And the whole network is built on the foundation of trust. It aims to establish with both its consumers and the business owners. So also the business owners utilize those information. So it's going to actually prevent these occurrences from happening. Also including the governments, by the way. And with Jasmine, with Jasmine data can be transferred as new assets, entering a new area of information. And service providers will no longer need to keep track of customers' personal information. There are lots of, let's say, uh, websites and platforms that keeps our personal information. Like forget about Instagram and Facebook. Let's think for like different websites about job applications. You fill out a form, millions of people are filling out those forms for applying to jobs. And that is a that is creating an enormous amount of data. Let's think about retail stores. There are hundreds of thousands of uh, products and it's going to be, you know, they, it's not being erased, by the way, and it's slowing down all the process and decreasing the speed of bandwidth. So it's consuming the internet, basically. And it's not necessary, right? So Jasmine provides service providers to be able to lower the total cost of information security and also improve service levels. And lastly, but not least, makes use of data to be saved by users outside of the firm. So that's all that I'm going to speak about uh, Jasmine coin and also IPFS is creating a, a huge impact on Jasmine coin and other coins. Uh, it's going to be the future of the world, I think, this IPFS approach and uh, creating a secure and uh, trustable connection between people so I think people are going to be more free individuals in the future but also this freedom will be controlled by freely by governments but not as uh, creating some restrictions as we have today so they are going to provide us okay you are going to be free but in a virtual world so this is the new future that I expect to be happening. So this video will be all. 
I hope you liked it. I hope that I uh, created some questions in your mind. So see you in the next video. I will be speaking about different uh, ideologies and different uh, projects. So keep watching me. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next video.